So let's talk about weed a little bit. Yeah, well, again, weed, uh, if we have to think about it, well, like what is, well, grain, right? Right, and, right. And weed being a grain. Right, right, sorry. And so, what is a grain? Well, grain is a seed. A seed of what? A seed of grass. And right? a mono cotyledon. Mon Monocotyledonous species. Seed, yeah, I learned that's some Yeah, stuff that's today. good. Eh? That was a good one. What about frugiferous? Uh, I forget what that one was. <laughs> what was it again? Tell me. Uh, an animal that eats fruit. That's right. Yeah, yeah. I should. That was yeah, easy. Exactly. Okay. All right. Uh, so anyhow, um, and hemp is a dicotyledon. Well, I don't know. It is because really? it's a flowering plant. If you were but to read through there, the leaves like that. No, but the initial seedling is. Yes, that's yeah, that's yeah, what I, I thought. never grown. Well, I did right? <laughs> when I was a kid. So I can't say. Right. Yeah, I was very record. much into horticulture. I see. For all the right that's reasons. That's good. You know. Yeah. You know. In case I you have because I don't lose my land. chiropractic job. So wheat and dairy and gluten and let's talk about. Some of the common issues people have with uh, eating grains. Well, the, the, I mean, the consequences of eating grains are pretty similar to the consequences of eating dairy. You right. start off mm -hmm. with uh, skin rashes, skin disorders. You move on to the inflammatory mm -hmm. uh, scenario. A lot of those anti nutrients, right? Remember, we talked about the plants, they can't run away, so the only right. way they can right. defend themselves is. I like is that. You have antitoxin. some really good analogies. Well, you know, we try. Uh, so, anyhow. And they don't I, have stingers or big saber, you know, big Yeah, huge well, teeth. some of them do, but no teeth, exactly. Right, right. Uh, fly trap, Venus fly trap. But, anyhow, so they have to develop an anti nutrient so that if you eat them, certainly if you eat a lot of them, then you'll get sick and you'll say, hey, we're not going to eat that again. Right. And with humans, a lot of the anti nutrients in grains turns out, once again, set us up for a lot of the chronic illnesses. Mm -hmm. So, you know, we started the list, and it was kind of like, autoimmune and rheumatoid arthritis right. and then we went down to the heart disease and then we went down into once again psychiatric issues like schizophrenia and behavioral disorders you think you would try brains, just that right? before you put load these people up on meds well that's it and that's why we said can you go a month can right. you go a month without grains without but then you also said there's a uh, opioid type opioid like Tennessee, yeah. sorry, in not both tenno, milk yeah. and the, and, and and the yeah, grains. That's right, when they bring them, when the proteins the break down. Mor the casomorphin from casein. And what casein. was the one from... Uh, and uh, it's, you know, gli gluten, glia, gliamorphin? Yeah, gliamorphin. gliamorphin, that's right. Something like that, anyway. Well, um, yeah, so opiate-like substances. So they're addictive, so they're just addictive. like uh, Oxycontin. Same category, right? Billy heroin, that's, that's right. right. Yeah, yeah. So that's why people have a hard time getting off the wheat and cheese and dairy and stuff like that because when they come off it they're they're basically going through withdrawal right yeah what are some of the symptoms of the withdrawal oh uh, you know starts off headaches fuzzy thinking um fatigue dry mouth that kind of stuff you know mm -hmm. now you're just way. kind of did you have you just went off coffee didn't you <laughs> yes, the secret. Did there. you have to go to meetings for that? I did think? not. No, yeah, no, it was a like, personal decision. Was yeah, it? exactly. Yeah. Uh, There's uh, not a CA uh, like uh, caffeine's anonymous. No, you know, exactly. But hey, you know what? It's a stimulant of the sympathetic nervous system. Dude, that puts us in stress. Absolutely, and that Chronic creates stressor. the whole cost cascade. That's right. I learned yeah. a lot this week. How can you be a drug-free practitioner if you're taking a performance-enhancing drug called caffeine? That's true. Yeah. I still like caffeine a little bit. <laughs> I've worked on everything else. Well, there you go. So, yeah, I'm slowly headed towards yeah. a 10, as we said. Towards a 10, as long as you're pointing at yeah. 10 out of 10. Yeah. Okay. Uh, you, we talked a lot about omegas and fish oils, too, this weekend. Yes, yeah. Uh, we, we briefly said the Indians from India are... 40 or 20, 30 to 41 in America, what are we right? Omega 6 to omega 3. Yeah, omega 6 to uh, Well, I mean, the study I showed mm -hmm. was 11 to 1, but probably better estimates are more like 20 to 1, omega 6 to omega 3. Uh -huh. Now, they're both essential, like we said. Right. So you still need both, uh, but it seems, and, and it's quite obvious, that we get more than enough omega 6s. Mm -hmm. So what's interesting is a lot of people are taught, hey, well, you know what, here's my 6s. No, here's my 6s. Here's my 3s. Can you see that, hopefully? Uh, uh, let's take a balanced oil. Right, because we right. should be balanced. Well, what happens if you're imbalanced and you take a balanced oil? It just goes up. Yeah, it goes right. up. Right? Right, right, right. So what we say is, you know what? Forget about the sixes. Focus on the threes. <clears throat> bring them up. Bring them up. Bring them up. Sixes will start to drop naturally because you're basically replacing bad with good. Well, I shouldn't say bad. You're replacing sixes with threes. You'll get to here, and now you'll be even. Mm -hmm. And now you try to keep that balanced, roughly one to one, two to one, maybe of six to three. Right. Yeah. Right. right. And we talk a little bit about water this weekend too. Yes, the importance mm -hmm. of hydration. Yeah, because pretty much the hunter gatherer really didn't have Perrier or <laughs> Corona or Guinness. You're, I didn't. Right. Did you Any want more? one? I'll get one later. Okay. Yeah. 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 Well, you're coming over for dinner. 
perfect. Yeah, we're, we're having pizza and beer. <laughs> <laughs> Some chocolate chip cookies. There you go. There yeah, go. there you go. It's just can't chink in the armor. Yeah, that's chink right. in the armor. It's eighty twenty something. <laughs> All right, well, we had a great time this weekend. I'm looking forward to the exercise workshop coming up in three weeks already. Three weeks, exactly. Yeah. What's up? Yeah. Well, you're not even giving me yeah. a break. That's it. Well, you worked hey. Jane to the bone today. <laughs> she but worked very hard, yeah. She did. Yeah, yeah thank so, you for that. And I want to thank everyone for that. Because we had a full house again. Yeah, which is full good. packed. Yeah, yeah I even noticed good. the air conditioning. I had to crank it up. Bring yeah, it down. Bring it down. It, it kept getting cold and hot. All right, <laughs> so this has been your weekly buzz, Dr. Rick Basker. Baxter! There you go. It's back. I can't talk anymore. All right. Thank you all, and I'll see you all next week. God bless.